Okay, so what happens if you fail your audit? Uh, you'll need to submit a corrective action plan or what they call a cap. Uh, your audit rep will provide uh, what? Oh, a little too fast there. Your audit rep will provide what you need to do uh, to fix your problem and where to send the documents. So they're very helpful. Uh, even if you do fail, they'll tell you what steps you need to do to correct it. Uh, you won't fail your audit if you already have all your compliance files in order. And you guys, this isn't a case of whether you want to do the compliance files or not. You have to do it. Everybody who applies for a DOT, there's a section there that, that says, uh, hey, um, and it's, it's like a true and false questions. And it basically says that you agree to abide to all of these, these items, the driver list, the vehicle list, having people enroll in a drug and alcohol consortium program, uh, making sure that their medical card's in order. All of these things that, that we're going to be going, uh, that we talk about in the compliance sections, you have already agreed to it when you got your DOT. Just so you know. So this isn't of whether I should or you, you, no, you agree to it. And if you don't have it, they can come and revoke your authority. That's, that's pretty much it. So um, again, and, and here's the other part. You should be doing this to, uh, let's say like this wasn't a thing, compliance folders, right? All of these items that are in the compliance folders, you actually should be doing for your own company anyways. Uh, it'll actually protect your company. And this is why they actually put it together uh, because they know a lot of people are coming into the industries and they don't, uh, they don't, have, the, um, they don't have the processes uh, in place to, to make sure that, the, uh, that everyone is safe. That's, that's really it. Uh, you're driving heavy vehicles, so in a way, they've set up certain processes to make sure that that at least this part of the business that has nothing to do with money is just really safety, uh, being the driver being safe, vehicle being safe, so the public is safe. That's what they really care about. So they kind of created a process, a business process for you on the safety side. So that's really neat that they, that they actually have that. So even if this wasn't uh, a law, you should be doing it for your company anyways. Period. Okay, so um, the top reasons why people fail their audit and they're uh, they're nothing crazy. You would think like, oh, you know, it's because this is actually very simple. They don't send their documents within the twenty day window. The documents are very simple. You should have them anyways. They don't send within the twenty day window. Uh, and again, if your DOT is suspended, minimum thirty day wait. You, you fix it tomorrow. It doesn't matter. You have to wait the thirty days. Not being enrolled in a drug and alcohol consorting program. Your DOT is active. Um, it's been active. They come up to you. They see you're not enrolled in a drug and alcohol consorting program. <laughs> Done. Suspended. Suspended. You fix it that same day. It doesn't matter. You have to wait the 30 days. Okay. And then uh, next thing, not having a correct CDL or medical card for drivers. So that'll also um, suspend you. So these, these reasons are not heavy reasons on why you, anybody should uh, have their DOT suspended.